Welcome everybody to the series finale of Let's Play Catherine Full Body. I gotta say, it's been a fun little playthrough. This one was much shorter. I actually like, I some, I kind of like the uh, shorter playthroughs, but I also like uh, going on the longer playthroughs as well. Yeah, stay tuned for the credits because I will be telling you guys what plans I have, what other Let's Plays I have planned in the future. But yeah, but for now, just sit back and enjoy the series finale of Let's Play Catherine Full Body. Hello. Hey, let's talk to Justin. Do you want I don't even think I have the trophy for uh, getting for completing Justin's story. Hey there. Think we can chew the fat a little? All right. Let's sit down. Oh, oops. Today's lead story is the mysterious ah. movie. And George once again. No, no. I wanted to talk to Justin. There we go. Hmm? Is something the matter? I remembered how you saved me in the nightmare. I talked a lot about myself. I think. I just wanted somebody to listen to me. I'm sorry. These events aren't going to end naturally. The police can't do anything. This is when the mass media shines. But I'm too afraid to write about it. I think it's because I'm afraid to admit that I have the power to save people through my words. That's tough. Well, I'll look forward to whatever you write. Think I can get an interview with you one day? The unnamed hero? <laughs> Stop it. It's embarrassing. It's all because of you. Thank you. It's the pure, unvarnished, real truth. Oh, there. Hey, I got the trophy. Nice. I didn't think I'd get it. Wow. Um, I don't remember this guy. Oh, wait. Is he the indie artist that uh, that became a cook? Matter of fact, I don't even know if, the, if I have the trophy for saving him. Let me check. Hold on a second. Yeah, I've been playing a bit of Watch Dogs Legion, too. Let's see. Get Justin out of his jam. Let me see. Uh, help Todd out of his trouble. Help Archie through his quandary. Help Roderick. Okay, I helped him. Okay. I already did that. And I also helped out Morgan. Okay, so I've saved almost everybody, it looks like. Alright. So, uh, let's talk with... Let's talk with... Uh, what's his name? I forgot. That curly hair. There's no mistaking it. Nice scarf. Name's Roderick. <laughs> Roderick, that's his name. Nice Wait a second, is this meet. is this who is I think it is? The bar get fancier. Uh -oh. OBS, okay, OBS just why, stopped but spawning. That told me I could do whatever I want to. Is this so Roderick from the Loaded Diaper? Like Are we talking about Diary Wimpy Kid? To the jukebox. That Roderick? You won't be able to hear it anywhere else, so be sure to give it a good listen. Oh yeah, we need to respond to these text you messages. Got a mail. Okay, I, oh, I know I got the stage complete text message. Attachment issues. Mr. Vincent Brooks, some of our newer cell phone models have been having trouble accessing our online media storage. We apologize for the inconvenience for handling this issue by sending our use of the data they were storing online via text messages. This takes me back. Aww. Alright, congrats. Yeah, yeah. Okay, um, who else do I need to interact with? I know I have to interact with these guys right here before moving on to the nightmare. Yeah, I, don't, I also don't have a good idea here. Let me turn this down. I don't have a good idea for how long this video is gonna is gonna like what the runtime is gonna be. I know we're two minutes in, but still, I guess we'll cross that bridge when we get to it because I'm gonna be making a lot of cuts too when it comes to editing. Hey, how much of what you were talking about tonight is true? You said you'd be fighting. <laughs> you really never change, do you? True or not, I don't think I can lose to him. This is the end. For the mysteries, the rumors, for the guys, and for everyone. He needs to take responsibility. Look, just don't be stupid about it, okay? Everyone's worried about you. <laughs> I'll be fine, don't worry. Uh, so Vincent legit just challenged the guy behind the nightmares to a 1v1 so he can win back the love of his life. If that's not... Oh my god, Vincent is... <laughs> if that's not a true man, I don't know what is. You must have curls, I all right, that's the that's the oil baron right there. To properly introduce myself. My name is Abu. Abu. Nice to finally meet you in person. Matter of fact, you know who? <laughs> Whoa, that's pretty sudden. You look excited though. I've never been on a journey by myself. Do you remember when I told you that I wanted to become something other than a human? What? I was a god? desperately trying to break the shackles of wealth. But now I believe that with the right attitude. Life can change for the better. Being surrounded by sheep was interesting. But now, it's time to experience the outside world as a human. 
It's the great thing about life. You can live it however you want. Thanks. Yep. You're always so encouraging. Um, this guy reminds me of that of Yusuf. Hold on, let me get my volume real quick. This guy reminds me of Yusuf from uh from what was it? Uh, from Grand Theft Auto 4, uh, The Ballad of Gay Tony, which was the DLC for GTA 4. But yeah, um, Yusuf, for anyone that's ever played it, Yusuf was basically this oil baron that was from the Middle East, and he was really, really rich, and he would always like just have a lots of flashy shit with him. Um, he would. Sh I remember one time he showed up in a gold car to pick up the protagonist, and I think he rescued the guy in a golden helicopter. But yeah, and he also lives on the top floor, on like the penthouse floor of a. Uh, of a uh, building in uh, Algonquin, which for those who've never played GTA 4, it's the Algonquin is the equivalent, the the video game equivalent to Manhattan, New York. But yeah. <laughs> oh man, I need to play. G I'm gonna replay GTA 4 again. All right. Chief and Orlando aren't looking too good. Everything will be okay after tonight. Which means. Never mind. We'll all be back to normal come tomorrow. Bet my life on it. Uh, what are you saying? Uh, <laughs> hey. Look at me like I've lost it. I mean, can a guy try to sound cool sometimes? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. I would have, I would have been scared if I heard Vincent talking about bending his life one shoot. Like, come on, though. Well, let me get my. Oh, you know, no, no, no. I can just do that while someone's talking. All right, give me a sec. Hey, Vincent. What was that just now? We saw you grabbing Boss. Something happened? No, everything's fine. Sorry you had to see that. I'm not gonna stick my head into every bar brawl you get into, but all right, there we go. Something's back. bothering you. Let us know, okay? When we were younger, we'd always help each other as a team. Remember? Yeah. Felt like we could take on the world back then. Fun times. Uh, but Toby here wouldn't know about that, would he? <laughs> Come on, why you gotta go there? We were like that once, huh? Anyway, we've already settled things. Okay. Um. What? Should we talk to... Yeah, let's talk to our boy Orlando. What does Orlando got to say? If My boy. If you come back, you'd be in some deep shit. <laughs> I was just screwing around. It didn't look like it to me. I was just getting worked up over a bet. That's all. If you say so, man. But if you do something to get us on the news, man, we're all going to have to go on the land. Well, that what sounds that good. Mean? It'll be like when we were kids. Out on adventures. So Is that some old now, slang? Huh? Go hey, on the what land? what are you talking about, guys? Maybe when you're older, kid. Hey, that's me. I've never heard of that expression. Go on the lamp. Uh, okay. All right. Oh, uh, should we? Should we just exhaust everyone's dialogue? See, see what they have to say. You haven't had any nightmares, have you? You mean that one in the rumors? They're supposed to kill you? <laughs> yeah, I'm not that gullible. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> it's cool then. All right. So yeah, I think um yeah, I think that oh hey, he's leaving. Uh what's his name? Toby. Yeah, I think Toby never had any nightmares mainly because he's a uh, you know because he's the more quote unquote innocent um the most innocent member of the group, you know, if you know what I mean, you know. He's never cheated, he's never had any marital issues, he's never had any commitment issues. So we, that doesn't really make him eligible to experience any of the nightmares. I was drinking some rum and cola. Uh, oh, wait, did, ew! <laughs> just fighting for me to All in this once and for all. I hope I can edit that out. Anyways, um, speaking of rum and cola, I actually drank... So yeah, I turned 21 recently, and I actually drank rum and cola while I was at a... While I was at a bar called The Bar Louie, and, uh... It's pretty good. Uh, it's as good as I thought it would sound. I <laughs> Rum and cola. Maybe it's because I'm tired, but the sake is getting. I also want to drink really sake quick. one day. Hey, I, I keep hearing that it's it. really good. Let's have some good stuff tomorrow. What do you mean? No, nothing. Huh? Okay. Oh, am I gonna oh, have that put my damn phone drink again tonight? Are you all right? And you know I love you. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Say stuff like that. All right, I don't think. There's nothing else for us here. I guess let's talk to those old ladies one last time. Good evening. Yeah, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty, I don't know why that Utah license plate is here. I'm surprised I was even, even able to point it out from like quite a mile, from like a mile away. <laughs> All right, let's talk to them. Would you like to speak to Lynn? Would you like to speak to Martha? 
Lindsay Martha. You look very handsome today. Oh, really? <laughs> a man who climbs the mountain now will be given his future to do with as he pleases. I wonder where you'll end. I wonder what you'll gain. What else is there? Victory and a future. Victory and a future. Of course, us too. Huh? Goodbye, Mr. Man of Legend. May you be blessed. And you know what? I've been thinking to myself, uh, what, uh, Lindsay and Martha, that's their name? Uh, part of me feels like that they're also some kind of supernatural beings that have to do with the nightmare. Well, they don't have anything to do with the nightmares, but they're, I want to say they're kind of like the Velvet Room attendants in that, like, they know what's going on, but they don't have any, but they don't want to have to, want to have to do with anything that's going on. They're just more so observers. I don't know their role in the story. I don't even know if they had, if there was any plans to have them play any role in the story at all. Okay. So let's get, yeah, let's get Vincent drunk. Might as well. <sighs> I've made up my mind. I'm putting an end to this tomorrow. Let's do this. Yeah, I want to get Vincent very drunk because he can move <sighs> faster when he's in the nightmare stage. Seems your glass is empty. Uh oh. You seem to really love rum and gold. Yes, I do. Here's some cocktail trivia that may reflect your current mood. All right. The El Diablo is a cocktail named after a demon. Yeah, it's called. Yeah, it's called the Devil. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, it's this called the Devil. This red cocktail is a devilish combination of tequila, lime juice, and ginger ale. Dude, this one, dude, that cocktail will fuck you up. Be careful not to let your diabolic companion get you too drunk. That is all for tonight's trip. Oh trivia. my God. Empty. Erica. I need Go on, order anything you want. Yeah, is this one the house, by the way? I uh, it's never explained. Sake. Uh, sake. I'll take a beer. Beer. Hey, Toby always mm -hmm. orders beer. I've noticed that. Here you go. Don't get shit faced, all right? Boss is in here, so it's all on the house. Yeah. Ooh, I like the sound of it. Drinks are on the house. Awesome. Okay. Mm. When I'm done, I need to tell her my true feelings. I won't hesitate now. Maybe it's because... Hey, don't... Okay, my bad, my bad. I did not mean... I'm sorry, I'm trying to think of things to say. You know, I don't want these 12 minutes to be for nothing. I'll escape it. Oh yeah, I'm still thinking about what I want to play and uh, you know what games I want to play on this channel after I'm done with the uh, after I'm done with uh, with Ka not yeah with Catherine Full Body. You know I'm still browsing my library, seeing what game. You know I also play do play games on this channel depending on how good I am at them and how familiar I am with them. You know. Yamada no Orochi drank Yashio Orinosake and became drunk. Enabling Susanoo to slay. <laughs> it's said that the Yashio Orinosake was brewed a total of eight times. Yeah, because um, the uh, the Orochi has eight uh, has eight heads, right? The ingredients are unknown, but it was supposedly sweet in both taste and aroma. Yashio Orinosake was so good it put an eight-headed serpent to sleep. I'd love to try some, if it was real. <laughs> that concludes the sake trivia. The story is reaching its climax. All right, that concludes sake trivia. Matter of fact, let me go back here real quick. Uh, what? Are, yeah, let me go back to the trophies real quick. Uh, if I'm. Oh yeah, another thing. I also platinum Persona 5 Royal this morning. So yeah, uh, not only did I get, get the platinum for it, I beat it. So yeah, that was nice. Uh, let me see. There's a trophy for looking at all the trivia for. Uh, Let's see, here are all the sake trivia, here are all the beer trivia, here are the cocktail trivia. Yeah, what's this? Uh, wash your face in the bar's bathroom. What? Hold on a second. No. Hold on a second. Okay, hold on. Let's get this trophy real quick. Wash your face in the bar's bathroom. I didn't even know you could do that. Could you even do that in the vanilla version of Catherine? I wonder. Yeah, Vincent's having a hard time keeping it together. Wash your face. There we go. There, we just got a trophy for... 
I didn't know that trophy existed or that you could wash your face in this game, but hey, I'll take it, I guess. How, what's my percentage on Catherine right now? 28%. We're making progress, guys. Look at that. 20 out of the 56 trophies in this game. Okay. Oh, I thought that would I thought that would sober Vincent up a little bit, but I guess not. Dang, man, it's it's your last night. It's your last night, probably alive, and you're just gonna eat peanuts. Like, dang, I would have ordered like some pizza, like the like uh like these two over here. But no, they're they're eating some. Uh, wow, they're eating some peanuts, and they're just destroying that beer too. Okay, um, we've spent enough time in the stray sheep. I think it's time we uh we take on the final boss. All right, diary. Now the final stage, I think, comprises of at least four, if I remember correctly, four or five stages. Alright, awesome. We're gonna head out. What's Vincent Bank what's his bank account looking like? Now I've got the time to be worrying about money. Something more important than <laughs> Aww. He's got a he's got a relationship to save. Are you going home, Vincent? Yeah, I'm going. Don't look so worried, Erica. It'll be okay. Have some faith in me. You'll see me tomorrow. Okay. I believe in you. I'll see you soon then. Alright. <sighs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, Atlas, I got one up on you. <laughs> and I've also sent in multiple, uh, I've also gotten copyright claimed multiple times, uh, in the other Catherine videos, and, uh, they got blocked in Japan. And right now I'm fighting those claims, but it's the Atlas or Sega has, like, a month to reply to those, to reply to my disputes. If they don't reply to those disputes, they, the videos will no longer be banned in the Land of the Rising Sun. And I don't think they'll ever they ever will First reply back. The great trials is a road split into three paths. Oh no. Wear the mystery blocks and tackle these stairs with all your wit and skill. Okay. Hey Mutton, if you're behind this then you can hear me, right? Say oh, let something. Let me turn this up. <laughs> of course I can hear you. I can see you. And your underpants. <laughs> All right, so uh, this is it—the final stage. Well, stage one of the of the final gauntlet. There we go. And hold on, hold on. Let me get these. Let me get these coins. All right, here. Let's use this. All right. So far, so good. Listen, listen. If you're a villain and you call yourself daddy <laughs> like that, oh my god, I can't even believe I found myself saying that. There is something wrong. There we go. Uh, those blocks come to life and they move on their own. I hate those. And I think they're only present in the final stage of the game as well. Alright, what is this thing? Better not be. Okay, hold on, let me just trigger it. There we go, okay. So far, so good. Yeah, so if you're playing this stage, it's best to alternate paths every now and then, just to just to keep on your toes, because some some areas are some areas in this uh, in this gauntlet are just hard to hard to navigate. There we go. Yeah, I'm not and if you can try to avoid the getting the mystery blocks. Try to get the black blocks instead. Yes, it's slower, but it's more but it's not worth the risk. Yeah, see, like that. You gotta change, you gotta switch things up whenever you're, whenever you're in this stage. There we go. Okay, okay, I'm making some big brain moves right now. This is almost too easy, and I'm getting madly paranoid. Even though I've beaten this game a few months ago. Okay, let's create a path over here. I'm having some big brain moments, and I feel proud of myself and madly paranoid. Got a little more. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Oh, I hate biting my tongue. That's the worst. Uh, oh, jeez. Something tells me that this area is going to be pretty difficult to climb. I have a feeling. Oh! 
Oh, I thought I died. Okay. Okay, okay, hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on, I think I got an idea. Let's push this out, hang. There we go, okay, there we go. I created a path, I was about. <laughs> oh man, I thought I screwed myself for a second. Okay. Uh oh, now I screwed myself. Uh, what does this do? Okay, that doesn't rock the house too bad. Okay, okay. Not too bad, not too bad. I may have to edit some of this out for time's sake since I can't... Not only just for time, but because I can't think of anything interesting to talk about. Oh, that's right, Watch Dogs Legion. So yeah, Watch Dogs Legion, it's an awesome game. And it's as good as I thought it was at E3. Yeah, so, uh, Watch Dogs Legion, you can play as anyone, and, uh, you can basically recruit anyone off the streets. Any NPC you can, any NPC in the game, you can recruit them, but you have to do, go through, like, a side mission first in order to recruit them. And there's hundreds upon hundreds of unique NPCs to, uh, to recruit. And, honestly, I don't know how they managed to do it. Yeah, I failed. Okay. Uh, I'll be back. Okay, things are better now. All right, so let's move. Oh, hold on, things are not better. Okay, hold on. How can I, how can I make this situation? Oh god. Hey, wait a second. That's right. There we go. Okay. Now, uh, all right. There we go. I cleared the stage. I was trying. Sorry, I was being so quiet. I was trying to concentrate on how to how to fix the situation. All right. So that's stage one. But anyways, I was talking earlier about Watch Dogs Legion, and I just want to know how they managed to pull together all those voice actors and all those motion capture, all those mocap actors to just create that because that had to take a lot of work. I mean, you got to remember that. It's been four years since uh, Watch Dogs 2 was released back in 2016, uh, late 2016, too. And Watch Dogs 2 was also an amazing game as well. I literally grew up on the Watch Dogs series, for real, for real. I got Watch Dogs 1 back in 2014 after I uh, made some money... After I made, after I uh, pulled together some money by selling some old stuff at a yard sale uh, in my neighborhood. Because every year my neighborhood has these big yard sales at the beginning of every season, like the autumn, like the autumn yard sale, the the fall. I mean, that's the same thing as autumn. The autumn yard sale, the winter yard sale. Actually, we don't even have a winter yard sale. I think um, we it's the autumn yard sale, the spring yard sale, which is in April, and I think there might be a summer yard sale. I forgot. Yeah, the first time I was ever. Just the beginning. It'd oh. Be boring for you to die here, wouldn't it? <laughs> Oh, hey, it's... Oh, yeah, Pharos is in here. I forgot. Let me turn up the volume. Hey, it's me. Here's something else. Well, sit down there. All right. Wow, this time, Pharos didn't sound too forceful when it, whenever he told us to sit down. You. I knew you'd make it here. This is heaven. Even higher than the cathedral. Blind bastard. You said I'd be free after I beat the cathedral. Son of a bitch. <laughs> My girlfriend just dumped me. <laughs> I'll never accept this ending. <laughs> I said the same thing when I uh, when I got the bad now, ending of Persona 5. I'll ask you how prepared you are to pursue your freedom. This is the first question to freedom. All right. What's the first question? Are you question? prepared to risk your life to get back together with a former lover? Uh okay, okay. Now for me when it comes to a question like now would you risk everything to get your lover back or risk your life? I'm gonna be honest <laughs> and say no because I mean like, you know, some like just it's best to let sleeping dogs lie, you know, it's time it's best to move on. You know, if they if they broke up with you then fuck it, it's over. <laughs> so yeah, I wouldn't risk my life. Wait a second. That didn't Is that so? Uh oh. You're right. Just because you can see her again. Doesn't mean things will go well for you. Be prepared, though. Uh oh. Did challenge. Well, these I didn't see the little red blue dial. Does the do these affect the ending? Was close to me. I forgot. Was a friend or lover? When it was just the bartender. Just the bartender. I may not look it, 
But I am a god. <laughs> Where are you guys? Why don't you tell me who you are? All right. My name is Astaroth. Astaroth. Watch you humans from a world high above. Astaroth. A world above? What? You aren't satisfied with my introduction? That's too bad. We'll talk further on. If you're still alive. <laughs> mm. Wait. Yeah, um, I think, isn't Astaroth a, uh, isn't Astaroth a law demon in Shin Megami Tensei? I, I forgot. Because I know he's, um, I, isn't he also one of the Nine Orders of Angels in, uh, in the Bible? Okay, let me see. For guys, they said I wouldn't risk my life. For girls, they all, oh, jeez, there's more, <laughs> it's a higher percentage. Yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad everyone's on the same, uh, on the same wavelength as me. Like I said, it's best to move on. When it comes to stuff like relationships, if you break up with someone or they break up with you, you know, it's best to move on. Try not to, you know, trying to, like, you know, risk everything to save the relationship. Just, yeah, sometimes it isn't worth it. All right, let's move on to stage two of the cathedral. No, I said the cathedral. Uh, stage two of, stage two of the heaven. Second great trial Why are there UFOs? The illusion road. Monster blocks can move on their own and will fling you off if you hang on to them. Yeah, I noticed. They almost flung me off when I was trying to, uh, when I was trying to, like, put together the final part of the last stage. Da -da, next da -da, da -da. We have to do it. Commencing area two. Are you ready? There we go. Just, sorry about that. I'm adjusting the audio in, uh, on OBS here. Does this kill them? No, it doesn't. You have to pull it out. Okay. Alright, I got it. Let's pull these blocks out. I don't think there are any alternating paths here as well. Oh, jeez. Uh-oh. Oh, jeez. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, uh, you know, let me... Hold on, let me retry this. I... Hold on a second. I... That was awful. How did... How do you do this? Yeah, the reason why I'm doing, uh, why I'm just letting it play out is because I do not want to have to render. The, I don't want it to take more. I don't want it to take longer to render the video uh, while in my editor. It's just not worth it. Hold on. There we go. Okay, okay. Um, now that it was only a few seconds long, I'm willing to make exceptions for like when I'm going to film myself getting back to where I getting back to where I need to be. Seventeen. Oh, that's that's three steps. Here, let's let's kill all these monster blocks first. Bam. Okay. All right. Yeah, it's best to clear out all those monster blocks just in case. Sometimes they'll move on their own. Sometimes they won't. Best to be on. It's best to err on the side of safety. I mean, err on the side of caution. My bad. Oh yeah, and those things. They kill you. They kill you instantly. These little portal blocks, whatever they're called. They kill you instantly, and they suck. There's no way around this, isn't there? Hold on a second, hold on. Damn, he moves too. Uh-oh. No! Oh, wait, I can move that. Okay, okay. Alright, it's not all... Alright, it's not all bad. All that bad, okay. But we need to get, we need to do something about this little block right. Oh, we don't even need to do anything about it. We just had to create a create a path. All right, these mystery blocks are giving me serious anxiety. Just calm down. And I think the monster blocks only move when you make a move, which is why I was having such a tough time with the with that other block. Don't worry, Vincent. You'll get. You won't get through it. Oh. Like I said, I want to try to avoid. I want to try to avoid all these redos because I want to avoid like cutting clips and make it take, making it take long for my editor to render. But still, sometimes it's unavoidable. Shit. Oh my god. Okay. Oh wait, wait. All right, that was just bad luck. Edge. 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 
All right, will this collapse? Yes, it will. Awesome. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get, you know, let's get one of these little books right here because they're gonna be, because they're gonna be more hostiles and they are incredibly annoying in the final stretch of the of these stages. Yeah, I hear the bell ringing. Okay. Tipsy fate. Oh no, this says Tipsy or something. I thought it said Tipsy face because uh, would have been fitting with the uh, with how Catherine, with how. Uh, with how Catherine, with how alcohol plays, yeah, it's gonna shake me off, isn't it? Alright, alright. There we go, kill him. But, anyways, yeah, it's pretty fitting with how alcohol plays a role in Catherine, with how Vincent doesn't remember half the things he did. Especially with the dreams, just. Especially with him uh, faintly remembering what happens in his dreams. Yeah, these things are gonna be a pain in the ass, too. Man, look at that. Now you gotta... Undo. I'm gonna kill him. There are so many monster blocks, goodness. And I can't move it above that little portal block because it's gonna, it's gonna destroy him. And he's gonna kill Vincent. Kill these two. Uh, oh god. Alright, no, 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 no. It's not that bad. Okay. There we go. We made it. Awesome. I made it. There go. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, we're making a decent headway right now. I think this finale might be... Yeah, I think this finale might be pretty short. I don't mean that in a bad way either. Um, I might be able to have a decent run time on the finale. Okay, now I know the boss yeah. stages comprise you of at so least two stages, I think. For a guy running around in his boxers, you're pretty quick. But you got a long way to go before you can face me. He's not wrong about that. And you know what? Uh how long should alright, sorry about that, because I want to get I want to get some soda real quick before I continue on. Alright, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back. Time. All right, so I got my soda and everything. It's time to take on uh, stage three, is it? Yeah, this is stage three. Okay, all right, let's answer this next question. I hope these don't affect the ending, or I think they do because the karma meter isn't showing up anymore. Good for you. I praise the fight in you. Before we continue, I want to make sure of one thing. What's that? I want to know what is inside. If it's the truth within you, then your future will be blessed. This is the second question to freedom. All right. Do you wish for a peaceful? Yes, I do. Yeah, I wish for a peaceful life. Why not? I see. I will answer a question you were covered in desire, in temptation, which cast you down here. Lies, deceit, betrayal. Oh, it's terrible. This is a place where sinners are tried. Haven't you heard of it? This judgment will have a positive impact on the future of humanity. So, this is about the good of mankind? Wow, that's so beautiful. It makes me want to cry. But why is it just men? This city is filled with traitors. Mm. I ordered him to bring the lowest of the low, like you, here. Hey, don't call me that. Even if it might be true. That means you're behind all this. Show me your face. You'll never see his face. Not in a thousand years. Besides, isn't knowing his name enough? Astarok. Let's move on. I wish you the best of luck. I don't need your wishes. Matter of fact, you know, since lose. we'll never see Astaroth's face, I, I would like to think that Astaroth is... This is my headcanon, by the way. I would like to think that Astaroth is Pharaohs from Persona 3, just sitting in that little... Just sitting in that little jailhouse uniform, just chilling in the little confession booth. Okay, majority answered yet? Oh, I wanted to see the stats for men and women. Dang it. Oops. The third great trial is the Forked Cliff. The Forked Cliff. There is no one way to climb this wall. Trust your instincts. Yeah, oh boy. 
blocks. I'm gonna climb the shit out of you. <laughs> area three. Are you ready? All right, let's climb the shit out of these blocks, like Vincent says. Yeah. Oh no, we need to talk about this. Oh jeez. You know, let's kill. Let's trust this thing just in case. I don't trust it. I don't trust it. Oh no, I. Uh oh. Oops. Okay. Um. You know, let's bring this block back in. <laughs> oh no, it's done. Yeah, that block is gone. Fuck. Undo. 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 Oh, I can't. I have ran out of undoes. Okay. Looks like we're gonna have to work front, work our way up. Shouldn't be too bad though. Maybe I'm just hyping the hell out of it, and, cause I'm just I'm just scared of I'm just scared of, <laughs> of how bad this might turn out. So nothing to fear though. Vincent Vincent's got this block. No, he doesn't. Okay. Uh, push that block. There we go. We can build a staircase. No, 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 no. Here. Okay, okay. What does the- Ugh! No, 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 I'm- uh, <laughs> Oh, like I said, I'm trying to avoid making as many cuts as I am because, uh... Mainly because I don't want this to take too long to render. But at the same time, it's gonna take longer- It's gonna take longer to render anyways because, like I said, this is gonna be a huge, huge file. But hey, what the hell? Might as well. You know, I'm not- I don't think I'm even supposed to collapse these blocks anyways. Maybe I'm supposed to build a staircase. This dude's username is Orphan Bear. That's pretty sad. <laughs> Here, let's make a spiral staircase. No, that's not going to make sense either because... Could, if I was able to pull out these blocks, then... Here, what about... Let's push this one out. Okay. Undo. Edge. You know what? Screw it. I'll be back. Okay, I just spent some time, uh... I just spent some time on that puzzle. I hate that. Okay. Oh, fuck. Here, here, hold on. I might need to bridge the gap right here because, uh... I don't see any other good... Oh, no, here he comes. Look. Oh, he fell off anyways. There we go. Uh, can I... I don't think I can get across that gap. Unless... Hold on a second. Oh my god. Oh. Yeah, this is not gonna work, but I, I have to try. This game is all about experimenting, after all. Okay. Alright, alright, sorry. Okay, I, I keep... I get so into the game... Sorry about that. I sometimes get so into the game that I uh, that I some that I forget to, that I'm commentating. Sorry about that. <laughs> but yeah, Watch Dogs Legion, very very good game. I like it. Um, I know I, I keep bringing it up, but so I can't think of any other games to talk about. And I want to talk more about Persona 5 Royal, but that would be going into spoiler territory. And I don't want to spoil the game for anyone. Oh god! Not only that, that was my sec the second platinum that I've gotten this year. The second platinum trophy I've gotten this year. The first platinum trophy I got uh, this year was uh, from the Wolf Among Us. And I think I might do Final Fantasy VII because I've heard that game's pretty easy to platinum, except for the uh, for the trophy about except for the trophy that requires you to play the game on harder difficulty. But I and uh, I don't think I'll manage because I had trouble with the. Uh, with the Sephiroth fight in the final stretch, of Vincent, move the right way. There we go. Cause I had trouble with the Sephiroth fight in the at the final. Oh my God, Vincent! Hit! hit. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I. Anyways, I had trouble with the Sephiroth fight in the final stretch of the game. I don't even remember where I was supposed to go now. Cause that dude just fucking chopped me up. Uh, so that trophy is going to be very difficult to get. I, uh, all the other trophies seem pretty easy to get as well. I also need to do all these side quests. I never really finished all the side quests in, uh, in Remake. 
uh, I did, like, I would do at least a major, a good, a decent chunk of them, and if there was a side quest that I could not find the location of, I would just skip it all together and then just move on to the next chapter of the game. And, uh, and not only that, but, like, those side quests, uh, whenever you, uh, whenever you refuse to do them and you, like, move on to the next chapter of the game, you can't do them again because, you know, you're in a different part. But if you beat, if you access the post-game, then you'll be able to access those side quests, I think. I also got a trophy for doing this little challenge where you break these boxes open and you have to like try to beat your high score. And that challenge was really fun. I like that. That was fun. Now remake, I have to see where remake takes us because uh uh I don't want to get into the I don't want to talk about the ending too much. But that ending was controversial as hell and for for good reason too. Okay, here. Let's move it here. Uh, oh, jeez. Hold on, I got it. Okay. I don't got it. Fuck. <laughs> oh, God. This game... Oh. This game aggravates me sometimes. I can find a way forward, Sojiro. Matter of fact, I think I found a way forward. No, I didn't. This game... They just... If those blocks hadn't collapsed on me, then I would have found a way forward. But no. Fuck. Okay, okay, we're almost... We have a way forward. Oh, no, 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 no. We have a way forward. I can I can see it. Somewhat. Oh, God. I don't want to cut because if I cut too many times, that that's going to make... That's going to take... It's going to take the video longer to render in my editor. So I got to, like, do... So I got to re keep restarting and doing, like, the auto-replay. Just to catch me up to where I'm at. And it... And the biggest con of like you know watching the all the all the auto replays is that it's gonna make the video take longer. It's gonna drag on the video, as a matter of fact. Oh, this sucks. And I'm eating a Nalloator too. Yeah, Nalloators. I have not eaten Nalloators in a long, long time. The last time I ever I remember hearing about them was back in like. The mid 2000s, like when we, cause we in my old neighborhood in Northern Virginia, we had this uh, ice cream truck that would swing by back then. Do I are are there still ice cream trucks around? I don't know. I, I know I sound like an old man. I'm sorry, but like um, back then we had this ice cream truck that would swing around our neighborhood every. It would be e it would be every other weekend, not every other weekend. It would be either every weekend or on a random weekday. All we had, all we know, is that we had to be on the we had to listen for the ice cream truck whenever it was coming out. Like getting to the ice cream truck was a special event. <laughs> Not only that, but the dude was really cool too. What am I supposed to do here? Will this make it collapse? That's not gonna do anything. Oh wait. Wait. Oh, okay. So there's all right. There's more leeway uh, for those blocks. Okay. No, Vincent. Okay, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Wait a minute. Yeah, I'm gonna need these for later, so let's take that. Oh, shit. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, I also beat Yakuza 3 recently, and I'm moving on to Yakuza 4 right now. I'm, I'm pretty... Um, right now, um... Yakuza, I'm pretty slow at getting, you know, picking picking up Yakuza 4 because, uh, mainly because, you know, I'm still getting used to the, to the new mechanics. Yakuza 3 is I'm getting used to because I moved, because, like, moving from the Dragon Engine, which is the newest engine that Yakuza is on right now, you know, for Yakuza 6 and Yakuza Kiwami 2. Moving from the Dragon Engine to the, uh, engine that, whatever the name of the engine that Yakuza 3 and all the other games of, of its arrows were using, were using. It takes some getting used to, because the combat of Yakuza 3 was, I'm not gonna lie, it was pretty stiff. And Yakuza 4, thank goodness it improved on it, because it feel, it flows better now. Akiyama had, Akiyama uses, using his kicks and everything. And that's one of the reasons why I like Akiyama. He's an amazing character, and his combat style is just, is just fun to watch. And it's not only fun to watch, but it's fun to play, play with, too. You can't die here. Yeah, you're right, Vincent, you can't die here. My sanity's dying here already. Uh, let's pull that out. I swear, if these collapse on me. Just calm down. Okay. 
Hey, we're almost there. I'm actually doing good now. Oh god, let me <laughs> Oh, let me not jinx myself. Knock on some wood or something. Okay, we can step on that. There we go. Alright, how far are we? We're not even near the we're not even near the top. Goodness. No, Vincent, I was trying to move I was trying to move that block right there. Okay, now we have to take our chances with that block. Okay, okay, you know, instead of just doing all that, let's just uh let's Where am I going? Oh yeah, I have to go up there, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on a second, hold on. Fuck, oh, dude. Oh, man. And I'm so, um, I'm also excited because I'm starting a new job soon, and that means, and if I save enough money, I'll be able to get a ki- Thank God I have these things. God, man. And these enemies are annoying. But yeah, um, uh, once I, I keep doing all these ums, I hate it, I hate it. Once I get this new job, though, I'm gonna try to save for a, an Elgato capture card because uh, recording off of PlayStation Remote Play for PC is not fun. Like, there will be a chance that someone in the house is watching Netflix or just, like, the internet's having a bad day and it'll just start lagging for no reason at all. Just making things really... Just making trying to record something very, very aggravating. Push that out. All right, now they've introduced ice blocks. They're pulling out all the stops here too. Yeah, they pulled out everything. Yeah, let's build a bridge. Might as well. Maybe I should have saved that one block. Oh no, I didn't. I need didn't need to save anything. Oh god, I'm I'm just praying that I hear the the that bell chime. No, oh, no, that's a bad idea. That's also a bad idea. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm having, I'm making nothing but mistakes here. No, 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 push that. Oh god. Okay, okay. I think I screwed myself. Or no, I didn't. Okay, let's just use that gray block and try to. Yeah. Okay. There we go. No, there we don't go. <laughs> Oh! Oh wait. Okay, okay. I, I got lucky for a second. How many times can you step on those blocks? Like two times? I got. I got very lucky right there. This monster block better not move. Bam! Got it. Galactic Commander. Love that username. I remember um, earlier today I was watching an. This is, I was watching an old Call of Duty user. I, I said user video. I was watching an old Call of Duty video that I used to watch when I was like, when I was like a teenager, like 13 or 12 or 13 years old. And this dude had a pretty cool name, yet it was kind of edgy. Something that I would have used like when I was 13. It was called Bloody Anarchist. I wonder if he's still on PlayStation Network. I don't know. Here, hold on, hold on, hold on. All right, things would not have gotten that. Okay. Let's step on that block and that no, 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 no. There we go. But yeah, I, I'm glad I retired my old PlayStation Network username. It was really stupid. It was, oh god, I hate, I shudder saying it aloud. My old PSN username was ShadowSonic33. I kid you not. I made the account when I was 11 years old, and at the time I was really, really into Sonic the Hedgehog. And... I decided, hey, Shadow Sonic 33 sounds like a cool username, so why not use that? I remember one time I got into a Black Ops 3 game back in 2016, and someone was like, yo, Shadow Sonic 33, you're old as hell. I mean, you're old as hell to be playing this game. Like, bruh. <laughs> I don't even know where the 33 came from. I think it was because Shadow the Hedgehog made an appearance somewhere around episode 30. And I got, I guess, 11-year-old uh, me was confused on what episode it was, so I took, like, a lucky guess. And just put Shadow Sonic 33. Alright. Oh, this is gonna take a lot to render. I know. Well, hey, I'm doing this for you guys. For the fans. Alright, let's talk to Pharos over here. Yeah, I'm not even gonna call him Master Off. I'm gonna call him Pharos for now on, because he has the same voice actor. Good. 
Vincent. The way you climb is a Okay, a Palpatine. Lot. Good, Anything Anakin. Slow me down. Good. We've come this far. <laughs> there is no correct answer to this trial. So I'm going to ask a question of you, who has made it this far. Answer wisely, I'm Vincent. Ask oh, answer wisely, one James. More time. This is the third question to freedom. All right. Do you wish for the excitement of chaos? Uh, honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna be I'm gonna be totally honest. I kind of do. <laughs> I mean, chaos is kind of exciting. Like, what's life without a? In my opinion, what's life without a little bit of strife here and there? You know. But still, why not? I'm not saying there always needs to be chaos, but still. <laughs> I sound I sound I like see. a madman. I know, but. <laughs> this is the midway point here in heaven. I'll take you to the next try. Please do. I'll be praying for a good performance and for your success. Can you so even call this heaven? I'm getting out of here. Let's see back. There we go. Alright. Oh, God. Glad I came up with this dual monitor set. So, most men answered no. Uh, most women answered no. Wow. Do you wish for the excitement of chaos? Then again, it depends on what kind of chaos it is, you know. If it's something that poses a risk to my life, then yeah, I'm not going to be excited for it. But if it's something, you know, I don't know, something crazy's going down and I want to, like, jump in, be a part of it, then yeah. The floors will crumble quickly. Use all your cunning to sprint your way to the top. I will. Fine. Keep climbing then. Oh. Okay, sorry, I was yawning. Alright, area four, let's do this. We gotta we gotta rescue our wolf with Catherine. Oh, there's Oh no, he's following me. Oh hot and heavy too. Bruh, get out of the way. Oh, push him. There we go. Okay, push him down. Yeah, he's gonna start chasing me. I need to move. I lost the checkpoint, didn't I? I, that, I don't know any other game where you can destroy a checkpoint like that. That's gonna be annoying, these monster blocks. Oh my god. So it's no matter what block I move, he's gonna start doing that. He better be useful as a block at least. Ooh. I'm putting myself in a pinch right here. You know, let's just jump on these spikes. You know, okay, yeah, I'm gonna need that for these guys, too. <laughs> Bro. No, 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 no. Okay. So far, so good. And then the stage is gonna get progressively worse as time goes on. And then I'm gonna grow to hate the stage. <laughs> Such is the life of such is the life of me, James Flanagan. Undo. Such is the life of, of me, James Flanagan, a le the Let's Player. No, I'm not dead. Oh man, he's chasing me too. Yeah, let's let's not do all that, please. What? Oh, the, oh, I broke the block too. Alright, we, we need to climb these spikes. Oh god. I swear, if this dude... Just, if he manages to clear those blocks, then he's a... He's a god. <laughs> oh god. Okay, checkpoint. Awesome. You know, one thing... Uh, one thing I meant to talk about... Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Yeah, one thing I did mean to talk about was uh, social media. Oh, that sucks. One thing I do did want to talk about was just uh, social media and uh, this thing called doom scrolling. It's something that all of us do without even. Yeah, I fucked him up bad. It's something we do without knowing, but we do we choose to do it anyways. Uh, so, doom scrolling, I actually talked about this on my Twitter, is where you seek out negative news on your own. And, you know, it's kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of like an addiction to being outraged. I don't know, uh, the, oh, I thought the block was going to get absorbed, but I guess not. 
but it's kind of like an addiction to being outraged by some crazy news that's going on in the world. And I notice it during a lot during, uh, here. Oh, oops. I noticed it a lot during around the election cycle. I want, I'm not going to talk about the details of the election, but still. Yeah, Doom's going, I... Uh, it's actually, it's actually one way that social media companies try to get you to use you, try to get you to stay on their platform. Uh, I messed that up. Try to get you to stay on their platform longer and longer. You know where they try to. I'm, I hit the, I hit the button on the D-pad. Here, there we go. Okay. Man, it's one way that social media companies try to get you to stay on their platform longer and longer, so they can like, so they can mine all of your, not only, so they can mine all of your data, but just so they can. Uh, just, I don't know, something else. I forgot what it was, but still. Uh, my main my main message, of course, is to avoid try to avoid doom scrolling for real, for real, because it's not really good for your mental health. It's not worth it. It pays to be informed, but still, it's not worth sacrificing your mental health just to, I don't know. I've And for the record, I found myself personally doom scrolling. It's bad. Oh! No doubt that Thomas Mutton sent, sent these guys after me. Can I box these guys in? No, I can't. Alright, so far so good. Oh, ooh, ooh, hold on, hold on. Now let's just take out these black blocks right here. Uh, they take, takes more time. Oh, great. So now I'm playing Russian Roulette. Oh, great. Okay. That one wasn't so bad. But that one's in front of... Uh, this one. It's in front of one of those blocks. I should have opened it up on that crumbling block right there. But it that won't work because... Okay, okay. Oh, oops. Wait, I'm dead? What? Come on! Oh, retry assist. Okay, I thought they weren't. I thought I thought they weren't gonna give me a retry assist. Okay, good. Good. That. Okay. Oh, it's very rare for the AI to use uh, to use items when it's in the auto replay mode right now. And I know some some asshole's gonna come out here. Oh, you didn't really do a let's play of the game. You use auto replay. Like, please, dude. It saves me. Not only does it save me time, but it save. Not only does it save me time from uh from like making all those cuts over and over again. Well, yeah, the video's gonna render longer because the files are larger, but still. That's less- that's like one less file to render. Not only that, but it's one, one less headache to endure because I died from something like that. Oh, oh! <laughs> that caught me off guard for a second, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, these blocks. Wait, wait, wait! Vincent! Okay, I gotta be really careful with how I with how I tackle these blocks. Oh, okay, good. I can go around it. All right. I thought it was gonna be impossible to do it. Yeah, let's grab these coins. Why not? There we go. All right. All right, we escaped. Okay, all right. This has to be the boss room, right? Right. Ah, to think you have. All right, save the game. All right, this has to be ab right above heaven. Very well. Just yeah, yeah. You're big and bad. You look like a Metal Gear character. By the way, I also learned that I'm also just now learning that uh, that the torture scene in Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker was replaced with Snake being tickled, being tickle tortured, which, in the context of Snake being a soldier and like not only an undercover soldier but like you know being involved in all those government conspiracies and shit, it kind of makes sense because Snake is already immune to pain. Well, not immune, but he's like he has a high pain tolerance. So why not switch it up with something like tickling? Because like you know, not too many people get. You don't get. When are you gonna get tickled? So yeah, I think it makes sense in the context of of the of the story and the background of 
oh, Peace Walker and Metal Gear Solid in general. Matter of fact, I think Guantanamo Bay uh, uses music to torture people. I remember one reading one article about how Metallica was used to torture to torture prisoners in Guantanamo Bay. All right, I wish for a peaceful life. Yeah. It sounds like Pharos is starting to lose it. All right, let's go. There was once a man who took up this challenge, just like you. This man became a legend. He stopped being human and became one of us. <laughs> yes, he is Thomas Mutton, the one awaiting you at the next trial. Now that he has become one of us, we call him Dumuzid. Dumuzid. All the traps were created by him. He knows this place through and through, making him a difficult opponent. So he used to be a human. Well, I'm not gonna lose to him. Uh, so I'm gonna give it to you guys straight. Thomas Mutton is not a hard boss fight. He's actually pretty easy. You just have to be quick on your feet. And you also have to make sure Vincent is drunk. Well, and I like, I mean like completely drunk. Wow, it's an even split. Now, men answered... Uh, a peaceful life. Alright, it's a slight difference. Okay, not too bad. You will now be faced with the creator of the Great Trials. Thomas Mutton. Use all the techniques you've learned to avoid his fierce attacks. Again, he's not that difficult of boss. Some, some of, some, some areas can be hard to, some areas it'll be hard, but still. <sighs> Starting to lose your nerve. <laughs> Hello then, we meet again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you'd actually make it here. That was a mob to watch. Well, it seems the others were altogether too easy on you. So for tonight's extravaganza, I shall deal with you personally. And you remember our deal, right? As I said, you have nothing to be concerned with. After all, tonight you'll be dining with my mutton special. It's a pity. But try not to get too worked up over it. Shut up! Let's get this over with already. I'll outrun you, too. Catherine, wait for me. Thomas Mutton has appeared. It's the killer. All right. Do not okay. die. It's the killer. Do not die. <laughs> All right. So what Thomas Mutton will do is he'll kick you. I mean, he'll kick the he'll kick the platform, and uh, what that'll do is that while Vincent is hanging off the platform, he's going to get shaken off. So make sure you're not hanging whenever he tries to kick down kick the platform. And he's also going to cock his gun a bit just to scare you. Um, he, when he's doing that, he's not really much of a threat. Uh, yeah, when he's when he cocks his gun, he's not really doing anything. He's just to scare the player. Um, what else do I have? What other warnings do I have? Oh no, he doesn't knock you off. I think it's like I think he has to personally like come after you. I mean, personally kick you, just for it to just for it to knock you off. Alright, let's shoot this way. Oh, these block these monster blocks are actually helping me. Not gonna lie. All right, there we go. You gotta watch out for that laser. Bam. Yeah. So that's the that gun he has annihilates box. I mean blocks. You need to be on the. Yeah, you need to be on the lookout for those. I'm glad I wasn't planning on using that path either. Oh god, I don't need the camera pulling away like this. Ooh. Okay, okay. Well, there goes my plans. Oh, wow. Uh, Thomas accidentally helped me. <laughs> oh, man. He's like one of those villains that accidentally assists the hero in like one of those Saturday morning TV shows from the 80s. Like, <laughs> like one of those villains that reveals his plans, tells, him, tells you everything. One of those guys. 
<laughs> He's on some He-Man shit, and I like it. Oh, he tripped me. Okay. It wasn't so bad. We need to move this on time. Right, what's the best path to take? Yeah, I will, won't die at all. Oh, oops. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Alright, that just trips you up a little. Okay, not too bad. Bam! Got me. I mean, almost got me. <laughs> oh man, I speedrunner. I've seen. I actually watched some speedruns of this game before I uh, before I hit. I mean, before I started recording tonight. And I gotta say that speedrunners of this game are very, very talented. I have nothing. I gotta give them nothing but credit for just being like. I don't know. Yeah, there's another stage to this fight because this is almost too easy. Uh, what does, uh, what does the energy drink do again? Oh, God. Oh, climbs two steps. Awesome. Uh, ah, fuck. Okay, we might need to use the energy drink. What? Hold on. Okay, that, I, it appears to not do anything. Okay, these monster blocks are now... Are starting to not favor me. <laughs> earlier, earlier when uh, when Mutton summoned them, they were uh, they were unintentionally assisting me. But now, now it seems they're not. Uh, they don't seem to be helping me out. Fun while it lasted, I guess. Don't, don't move! Don't move! Don't move! You need to run. Oh, oops! I forgot. Oh, hold on! Hold on! How did I do that again? Okay, there we go. I climbed here. Don't destroy it. Don't destroy it. Don't destroy it. Okay, bam. Oh, this sucks. What? What was that? Wait, a block collapsed as soon as I... Okay, that's why. Here, climb two steps. Alright, alright. We're almost there, too. I don't hear the bell chiming. That's, uh... <laughs> that's not a good sign. Yeah, is this the true final boss? Because it's playing, it's not playing any uh, badass boss music. It, fuck, he knew I was about to use that, didn't he? Okay. I don't have any ace up my sleeve for this. If you can't find a way forward, soldier, oh please. Okay, I'm glad I had those. Oh god, oh god. Alright, alright, if alright, I swear, if Thomas shoots this bridge out that I'm about that I'm creating. Oh no, he alright, I saw him just I saw him cock his gun just now. Alright, we're almost there. Alright, alright, I got it. Alright, these are nice. Oh. oh my god. No! Oh my god! Okay, I thought that was game over for a second. Bam! Alright. Alright, that should be part one of this fight. Or is the fight over? Okay, that's part one of the fight. Okay, all right. Okay, uh, let me... So, all right, so let me uh, end the recording right here. And, uh, well, not... Yeah, the video's not ending. No, 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 the video's not ending. I just need to end the recording right here so I can, like, split it up a little bit. Okay, break time's over. Let's continue.
Alright, this might be... I think this is the second phase of the final boss fight. I remember the boss fight having three phases. Alright, so let's see what this question is. You're finally here. Above this place is a path that reaches a the path heavens. That reaches the heavens. Okay, so it's... Appear, okay. A man with potential. So it's not heaven, it just Waiting. goes to heaven. Okay. Waiting for me, huh? Were you trying to kill me this whole time? This yep. is a sanctuary where we give those with potential a baptism. Isn't that a kung fu? Uh, isn't that like a, a series of kung fu movies, Game of Death? Because I swear I remember hearing about that, like when I was in a blockbuster a long time ago. Yeah, I kind of already knew that. This is all a dream in my head. If this is my dream, then no matter what comes my way, I know I'll be able to handle it. <laughs> you are bold. So different from the man who first entered here. My job here is done. You've successfully endured the Oh, so wait, this is the final Coming area. Next will be the final trial of the heavens. Okay, all right. This will be your last battle. All right. I am always near you. I have many faces and many names. When this sanctuary is bathed in Ishtar's love, I'll see you again in a place far removed from here. Somewhere else. Keep your eyes up and go. Hey, you tell me twice. <laughs> talk right up to the end. I, I love to talk too. All right, so there was no question. It was just uh, Astaroth. Uh, it was just Astaroth telling us, "Yo, this is the final stage. You better do good. Don't die, idiot." All right. Final stage. Spear. I mean, Sphere Six. The final stage of the Great Trials is upon us. Yes, it is. This is the ultimate test. Face the gods' full power with all your might. When you reach heaven's door, you will gain true freedom. All right, let's get true freedom. There we go. That's the boss music. How long is this gonna go on? He's tougher than I thought. He's gonna be a bigger threat, so watch out. He's faster than I expected. Is he calling him a cheater for, like, you. being bastard or for cheating on Catherine? I'm almost there. Who's gonna win tonight, bitch? Oh, okay, Jesse Pinkman. About? I was just messing around. Just making you to turn down the volume on my computer uh on obs okay okay so uh Dumizid, i think he uh i think he's gonna use that eye of his to try and catch you off guard or destroy some blocks so we need to be on the lookout for that let's create some blocks too Here, I, maybe I can push this out and make it collapse. Awesome. Shit, what am I gonna do? Just calm down. Shit, what am I gonna do? Awesome. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to use this early on. Uh, he's gonna destroy these pretty soon. Did he just call it the Dumazid beam? <laughs> oh god, the Dumazid beam. Oh, this guy's an idiot. <laughs> I'm did I just call him? I just called a god an idiot. I, I'm crazy. Dreadful Oak. I like that name. I've been complimenting a lot of these usernames too. I noticed. Fuck it. Uh, grab onto this. Okay. Yeah. Oh, hey. Uh, do these get? Do these get replenished? Cause I, I, last I looked, I was at two, two of these. No, 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 go back, go back. Okay, hold on. Yeah, let's use another one. 
Oh, fuck, I wasted that. Oh, wait, there's... All right, there's a lot of room for that, uh, for me to jump up there. Vincent, don't push that. Yeah, he's... I'm waiting for Dumazid to do to do something, because uh, he's been staring blankly at me for at least a minute now, and he hasn't done anything yet. Let's grab this. Okay. Okay, Vincent, could you move these a little faster? Because he's gonna fire he's gonna fire something at us. Man! Come on, Vince. Awesome. Okay, we created a path. Oh, that's... Oh, I screwed myself. Fuck. <laughs> oh, man, you know what? I'm gonna do this in one take. I'm not gonna... I'm gonna try... Not one take, but I'm at least get... I didn't see that there. Okay. Cut me some slack. I know, I know some of you were yelling at your computers or phones, whatever you're watching this on, at me to, uh, to get on that little, on that little block. I didn't notice it. I, oh god. I feel like an idiot now. How was I supposed to tackle this? Alright, I'm expecting that, I was expecting that block of, that block of gold to start, to at least collapse into the... It's that portal thing. Whatever. Okay. Yeah, let's push this away. Uh, he hasn't done anything <laughs> in like the 30 seconds that I used the auto replay. That's deeply concerning. Oh god. Oh god. Hey, uh, this isn't cool, uh, game. I, <laughs> this is this is totally not cool. Oh, oh, I'm surprised Vincent didn't even get his didn't get his fingers crushed. I, that was my bi that was my first fear when I played this game back then. I thought Vincent could get his fingers crushed and it would like and, and the pain would cause him to drop off. Vincent, you're gonna die. If you're stuck, okay. Yeah, yes, I'm stuck, game. Fuck. Oh man, I I didn't see that that trampoline block, whatever I don't know what it's called. That trampoline block, something that would like ascend me, like, up God knows how many blocks high. For a final boss, he's not really threatening. I mean, like there's lots of stakes. I mean, when there's a final boss in a game, especially something like this, you know, you'd expect there to be higher stakes because you know of how big the fight is, how big they were they were putting up the fight to be. And what's on the line if the fight is lost. But no, he's just chilling in this corner watching us and occasionally firing, firing a laser. This has to be the most chill final boss I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. What? Oh, oh, so it can position it. Okay, I get it. I get it. That's, that's clever. I like that. Alright, let's climb from here. Here, I wanna get I wanna grab that trampoline block again. There's also a lot of room left for me to pull out the trampoline block too. Oh, there's nothing. Okay. Well fuck. Oh okay then. Uh, can I use the can I use the energy drink? Yes I can. back. Yeah, he's, about, he's planning something. He's about to fire off that laser again. Hold on. Turn this down a little. There we go. Yeah, and I also know that I'm, with how long the video is, I'm going to have to fight off a lot of copyright claims, too. So, yeah. All my, for my Japanese viewers, and I guess, and I, I remember one time, what in the world? Oh. Well, finally, he does something. Goodness. I, I, <laughs> I didn't want this to be too easy, to be honest. What's that thing around Vincent? Yeah, be careful. And then again, be careful what you wish for. 
Yes, I didn't want this to be too easy, but still, I, I didn't want this to be too hard either. Ooh. Yeah, I'm not I'm not grabbing those coins. It's not worth it. What is he doing to Vincent? Like he has this purple aura over his head, and it's making me nervous. Uh, uh doesn't I thought that was supposed to like reverse the controls or something similar. Hey, that's a that's a Castlevania reference from uh, Castlevania Simon's Quest. I mean Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest where uh, when it when it transitions to nighttime it says what a wonderful night to have a curse. Not only that, it's also one of the one of the, one of my favorite death metal songs too. It's called Wonder What a Wonderful Night I mean yeah, What a Wonderful Night to Have a Curse by the Black Dahlia Murder, one of the best death metal bands ever. Uh oh, oh that's a trampoline block. So he just unintentionally he just Wow, he, so he just... <laughs> so he just pulled a Skeletor and accidentally helped me. Alright, I can fix this. There we go, that way we don't have to touch that bomb block. Hey, he changed it for me. This guy's just, he might he, this guy just gave me the game. Okay, there we go, that staircase. Hold on, hold on a second. I feel like I can use that block somehow. I don't know how I can use it, but I feel, I have a feeling it's going to be useful later on. I don't know how, there's just something, <laughs> one of, some of my instincts are just telling me something. Okay, one block collapsed. Here, pull that out. Alright, we're halfway there, too. Halfway toward the path of freedom. What a wonderful night to have a curse. Alright, Castlevania. Alright, we get it, Simon Beaumont. Oh, I don't get that. I don't want to get that. Run, Vincent! Oh, God. If I had escaped that bomb on time. Okay, there we go. I escaped it. Okay. That was a clutch move right there. Yeah, I think timing also plays a role in how and how you and how well you succeed at some of these puzzles too. Especially with all those bomb blocks and in, uh, in some of the early stages. Oh, that works. Checkpoint. We're almost there, team. We just gotta be careful. I can't climb too fast. You know, let's climb these monster blocks so, I can, so they don't move. Okay. Oh, God. No! <laughs> oh, jeez. He's still wilding out, though. Okay, now we have a true final boss. This is where things get interesting. No, 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 don't pull that out. Instead, there we go, we can climb around it, I think. And yeah, that's going to be very useful for later. Because we also have those portal blocks, too, that are just going to, they're just going to fuck with us. What is that? Oh, meteors, oh, hell no, nobody said anything about this. Alright, Goku Black. <laughs> And for the record, I've not seen Dragon Ball Super. I need to watch it. I only watched one episode of Super, and I... Well, the first episode of Super. And, no, that's a lie. I actually watched a couple of other episodes, like when uh, one episode of Super that premiered on Adult Swim one night. Yeah, I have not seen Super yet, and I don't know if I... Gonna make me lose my cool up in here. <laughs> I love how he says that. You're gonna... Uh, you're gonna make me lose my cool up in here. He <laughs> said. Boss is such a boomer. I love it. Oh, I don't love that. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna keep losing all my undos if I. You know, I'm not even gonna grab that gold block anymore. It's not worth it. Okay. Matter of fact, I should have pushed that portal block out of the way. Okay, okay, okay. 
Hey, buddy. Bam. No, 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 no. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, I can't fuck this up. <laughs> oh, God. The nerves are getting to me. The nerves are getting to me. It's fine, though. That's... The lag is not fine, though. I don't like that. Uh, who was that? Who was that? Wasn't he the store owner off of the Eric Andre show that when they did those public pranks? I don't trust like that. <laughs> I don't trust like this. I know Eric Andre sometime, like, early, like, during the summer, he released a stand-up show. Or I think it was either this year, no, it was, uh, fuck. Undo that. No. All right, we're getting closer to the exit, guys. We're almost there. The finale's almost here. <laughs> oh man, I know. I also slacked off while trying to do some while doing trying to do some recording sessions for this game too. Thankfully, I didn't like slack off too much like I did with Persona 3 when I uh, when I moved to my uh, when I moved to my college across the state uh, across Virginia, and I just stopped doing videos for like a couple months. And I also apologize for leaving you guys hanging like that. But still, I just, like I said, I ran out of inspiration at the time, and you know how it is. It happens to all of us, you know, when, how we all get burnt out. Ha I'm happy to be doing videos, though. Is this it? Yeah, it's quiet. Okay. Right. Looks like this is the finale. from saving your race by being stubborn. <laughs> Is that still what you think? Look, men and women, they're more complicated than you think. You're just being selfish. All right, Mutton. What I want doesn't really matter. I mean, people's lives aren't planned out for them. There's no roadmap. Despite what you may think, we don't need any hurting. <gasps> I mean, I can't claim to be the greatest guy in the world or anything, but I am human, and I'm free to choose how I live. You... You insolent little man! Well, thank you, but I still won. You made me go through these stupid dreams night after night. From now on, my life is my own! St stop it! it up for Catherine full body so let's see what ending I get this time because I let two people die on accident and I also I'm also scared of how the questions I answered may have affected the ending at the uh, on the final stage so yeah let's see what ending I got do Vincent and Catherine get married let's find out It's morning. 
going on the moment Orlando of truth sent me this text saying that we should all get together since it's been a while <laughs> and the bartender came and picked me up himself what gives yeah i'll explain that in a second but first thanks for coming <sighs> so where is everyone why is it just us here i had orlando text you i wanted to talk with you myself you wouldn't answer any of my calls. <sighs> so, what is it? It's over. I don't want to talk about it. Don't you get it? Yeah, I do. I need to tell you something. Why am I putting up with this? Vincent. <sighs> what is it? This is your last chance. It was all an illusion. Huh? What was? Oh no. Like cheating. Huh? There never was another woman. What? <laughs> oh, God. Are you kidding? Pause. Oh, God. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. I think this might be the... Oh, no. I think Kat's gonna... Still gonna break up with him. Oh, no. Hold on a second. All right. All right. Let's keep watching. I'm not gonna believe that. I know it's hard to believe, but I'm telling you the truth. I I never cheated on you. <laughs> Don't be stupid. I'm serious here. I was losing it, and and I thought I was cheating. I know, I know, it all sounds like bullshit. I was driving myself crazy too. I mean, I mean that's a problem in of itself, but... Hey, are you serious? It's all true. My friends and the boss here showed me that it was all in my head. You don't expect me to believe this. No. I just didn't want it to end with a misunderstanding. That's why I had you come here. No. That can't be true. Then that means because of that we... You're lying. It's not a lie. Johnny, Orlando. Long time no see, Kay. Sorry. Don't sweat it. It'd be hard for anyone to believe a story like that at first. <laughs> yeah. Well, we didn't believe it either, until we heard from Erica. Huh? Besides, if this fool really did cheat on you, well, we wouldn't help him out like this. Um... About the... illusion. Allow me to explain. You? Yeah, damn, we fucked what boss the up! What's going... You see... give him some time it may have been fake but in my heart I was still cheating on you I'm sorry I know you can't forgive me for what I've done <laughs> no I can't I finally woke up <laughs> I 
was worried about how my life was going. I thought everything was being decided for me. I was being tossed about by the world. I had so much stress. <laughs> but after you dumped me, I figured it out. My life has no meaning without you. Why are you telling me this now? So I'll never regret not telling you. I will hold you dear for the rest of our lives. Will you marry me? <sighs> Catherine, I love you. This is so sudden, I... I don't mean now, someday. That's not what I meant. We did it! We got the good ending. Yes, I'll consider it. Let's go. You'll consider it? I, uh, this is wonderful. Just wonderful. Hey, hey, what are you getting worked up about? Besides, I can't believe- I know, I can't either. This is perfect. What? Jeez. That is, I can barely believe this myself. We got the good ending. <laughs> Hello, everyone. It's nice to be able to she, see you again. Okay, hold on, hold on. How'd you enjoy the show? She is the most a interesting character from the terrifying in the game. I wish she had more screen time. With your exceptional skills, even Astaroth, the mastermind behind the nightmares, was amazed. <laughs> Did you happen to notice the central conflict that this game's masterful creators placed at its core? Yes, I did. Do you want to live a comfortable and steady life? Or do you secretly long for a free life, full of excitement? Freedom in order. In the nightmare, Astaroth said that there is no right way to climb the tower. The stairway Vincent was forced to climb could be taken as a metaphor. It symbolized the journey to adulthood, pressuring him to make his tough life decisions. Don't you agree? Pause. You know, I, um, well, let me adjust my microphone volume. You know, I actually wanted to speak on the symbolism behind, uh, not just this, but like the, behind Tartarus in Persona 3. Uh, I wanted to talk about this during the credits, but I didn't know what to say at the time when I completed the Persona 3 playthrough, and I really regret that, but. I could see that being, I could see that being said the same thing for C's in Tartarus. I think the stairs in Tartarus and how C's is going up them could be seen as a metaphor for growing up. It could also be a metaphor for, you know, not just growing up, but for dealing with what comes with adulthood. And the hearts and the monsters that, and the shadows that they fight in Tartarus could be seen as dealing with the hardships of adulthood. And I don't know, I just wish I had more time to talk about it, but we're talking about Catherine here. So anyways, let's continue. In the finale. Mm. Vincent begging his lover to come back to him. I hung on every word, wondering how she would react to his desperate plea. She was at a loss as Vincent poured his heart out to her, but in the end, she answered him with a smile. <laughs> if you ask me, I'd say she's a bit too forgiven. But this is the answer Vincent discovered after forging through his nightmarish ordeal. <laughs> Catherine must have felt the strength of his conviction, and she knew that this yeah, was his that. true answer. Off my desk. Maybe it depends on how much of Vincent's feelings that she can sense. You think that could be what determines the future for those two, hmm? Hey, tell me, what did you players out there think of this outcome? I love the way she says players. I sure do hope their second chance works out. Mm. Ah, they'll be alright, won't they? So are you worried about them? Mm. Cause I know I am. Well, let's peer a bit into their future together, shall we? <laughs> Games are lovely creations, aren't they? Hope to see you soon. Stay golden. 
Honestly, you know what, let me, let me talk about this after we see what happens with Vincent and Kat. A few months later, okay. <sighs> I wonder what design I should go with. I mean, I really don't wear white all that often. Yeah, you think it'll doesn't. look good on me? You look good in anything, you know that. <laughs> right. Oh, have you decided who you're gonna invite to the wedding? Hmm? I've already picked out everyone that I want. Oh. You did? I told you to think about it. S sorry. I'll, uh, I'll do that right now. Now, what's left? Uh, hey, baby. Let me see. Think you could, uh, get off. Ooh, and You're this up one. crushing mm. me. <laughs> oh, that's so pretty. I can't pick. I need to think. Oh. <laughs> well, that wasn't me. <laughs> hey, you want to go grab a bite? I could go for a bite, but think about who you're inviting, okay? I know, I know. You want to go to the usual place then? Let's hurry then before they run out of lamb kebab. Up and at him, huh? Ah, okay, I got it. So just move and I can. <laughs> huh? What? <laughs> you're the one who's being Mr. Lazy Bones. All right. So they're planning out a wedding. Um. Hold on. Is there? All right, let me turn this down. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Whew. I do not want to risk any copyright claims. Okay. So, my thoughts on Catherine. I think Catherine is a breath of fresh air. Catherine is a game that was de that desperate we needed to come out amongst the, uh, you know, amongst the, amongst the, no pun intended, amongst the battlefield of first person shooters that were coming out and all the action games. It was a unique game. It, from its unique gameplay to its mature storytelling to the mature themes that it presented throughout the throughout the story, it's so, uh, it's so amazing. And I'm glad that it's a game that talk that talks about. I'm glad it's a game that talks about stuff that not many people not many people really talk about stuff about marriage, infidelity, uh, infidelity, commitment issues. It's it's a whole lot to swallow. This is a game. Yeah. So, what do I think? I think it's an amazing game. And earlier, I was trying to touch on this earlier, but um, it was in the middle of a cutscene. So, what I want to say is, I don't think... A lot of people will say that Catherine deserves a sequel. I don't think Catherine needs a sequel at all. I mean, this kind of game, it's perfect to it's perfect enough to stand on its own legs. Now, granted, this C Catherine Full Body could be seen as a pseudo sequel with how Atlas likes to do re-releases of their games, but still, that's that's to be debated. But yeah, Catherine is a perfect game that can stand on its own legs, and I think it, in my opinion, Catherine is one of the best games of all time. It's one of my favorite games of all time. So, <laughs> well, yeah. That's all I have to say about Catherine. Now, what are my plans for when I? What are my plans for future playthroughs? Now, I'm looking at playing through Yakuza Kiwami, and I'm also thinking of playing Watch Dogs 2 because I really, really love that game, and it's also a uh, perfect. It's also a perfect. Uh, sorry, I can't even. It's also a perfect game to play around this time. I'm. I might do live streams of Watch Dogs Legion, but anyways, I might do Yakuza Kiwami, Watch Dogs 2, I'm also, uh, and I might do Uncharted as well, because I love playing, I, I, I'm a huge fan of the Uncharted series, I've been a fan of the Uncharted franchise for 10 years now, but still. Wait, oh, why do they have the Persona, uh-oh, no, Persona 5 cast here. <sighs> Sorry, I lost my breath. Oh yeah, um, the games I'm planning on doing right now are Yakuza Kiwami, uh, Watch Dogs 2, and Uncharted 1. So yeah, we'll have to see. I might do I might do uh, Uncharted 1 just to get out of the way. Uh, who knows? It depends. But still, those are the games that are on the table right now. So thank you guys so much for uh, for going for uh, bearing for bearing through this little this short little journey. Through cat through the mature story through the mature Catherine full body. I enjoyed this game very much. It was fun to play through. It was fun talking about my thoughts on uh, on relationships as well. <laughs> but yeah, 
I will see you guys in the next playthrough. Thank you guys so much for uh, sticking with sticking, sticking with me. Make sure to follow me on Twitter. Make sure to join my Discord server. If you want to support the channel, make sure to donate via my Cash App or my uh, or my PayPal. Links to all of that will be in the description below. I am Lunar Nocturne, and thank you all for watching. I am signing off.